Greetings, Elderly Vegan here, and welcome to my first single topic video I refer to as From the Books. In this video, I will be discussing the role of how the body utilizes animal protein in a different manner than plant protein when it comes to your own cholesterol production in the liver. And the reason I've chosen this topic is because coronary heart disease is the number one killer in America. Note that I'm not referring to dietary cholesterol. Rather, I'm talking about the cholesterol which is actually produced in one's liver and the type of protein one eats, animal sources versus plant sources, has a direct bearing on your body's own cholesterol production. As you may know, all protein is made up of 20 standard amino acids. Think of these amino acids as the building blocks of protein. I will only be mentioning two. One is methionine, the other is lysine. Yet I will also be mentioning a group of three amino acids which are collectively referred to as the branched chain amino acids. These amino acids play a key role in maintaining and building muscle. Well, as it's turned out, I have totally revised the script I was about to present to you with regard to information I read in one of my books. And the reason for this was that AI was not in total agreement with the author. The author was indeed saying there's a certain amino acid which spikes cholesterol production in the liver and that it is found in greater concentrations in animal protein. However, the author mentions the amino acid lysine as being responsible. Yet according to AI, not all of the research is in agreement that lysine spikes cholesterol production. And because of this ambiguity, I thought I would take a different approach. I decided to turn the whole matter over to AI and see what it had to say about this. In this regard, I constructed three basic yes or no questions on how one amino acid in particular has the ability to elevate your own cholesterol production in your liver. Here we go. Question one, does the amino acid methionine raise cholesterol production in the liver? Answer from AI, yes. Question two, do animal sources of protein contain richer sources of methionine than plant protein? Yes. Question three, does animal protein raise cholesterol production in the liver more than plant protein? Yes. All in all, AI overview was in agreement with the author I was referring to. However, the amino acid in question is apparently methionine as opposed to lysine, and therein is the difference. After all, the book I was referring to was published 22 years ago. Perhaps that makes a difference. But there's one more related issue which is absolutely screaming to be mentioned, and that regards the widely held notion that vegans are somehow not capable of maintaining let alone building muscle mass, especially as seniors. This concept is so pervasive that it even surfaces in two of the reference books on this table, and it's implied in others. At the very core of this issue are the three branched chain amino acids, which I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Branched chain amino acids are the ones most directly involved with maintaining and building muscle mass. And as you probably suspect, Animal sources do reign supreme with their concentration of the branched chain amino acids. Yet any plant source which is regarded as a complete protein will indeed have branched chain amino acids, just not as much of them. At this point, I felt it was time to put another question to AI. Therefore, here's question number four. Can vegans maintain muscle mass by consuming plant protein? Yes, studies have shown that plant protein can be just as effective as animal protein for muscle maintenance. Well, I hope you found this video worthwhile. That is, with a little help from AI, mind you. And in video number two of this series, I will also be addressing an entirely different way to lower cholesterol levels through healthy choices in food. So long for now, the elderly vegan. <music>